Hi, welcome back as I document my GLP-1 journey. I'm here on my YouTube channel. So have been on weight loss journey my whole adult life. Never been able to lose weight and keep it off. You can check out my YouTube channel. I have plenty of videos telling you my whole story and all the ways I've tried to lose and maintain weight loss. About 10 days ago, I began taking a GLP-1 Wagovi and I'm doing weekly or bi-weekly whenever I remember updates to fill you guys in on how things are going. Today is about, I think 10 days in, I don't know if I said that or not, into my GLP-1. I've had two, two injections. I'm on the lowest dose, which is 0.25, I believe, of Wagovi. In the first week um, that I took my shot, let me just say that stuff is, it's witchcraft. I, I couldn't, I did had no appetite. I wanted nothing to do with food. It, and it worked nearly immediately. It was, it worked very quickly. If you have never struggled with obesity, um, and, or weight loss, and you've never had what people are referring to as food noise, I didn't even know I had food noise until I didn't have food noise. That's been what I, I kept reading in the research about the GLP-1 turning off this food noise. And I didn't even know I had it until I didn't have it anymore. So I, um, I, I took my first dose and immediately I had no appetite for the first week. Um, and I took my dose Tuesday morning and I didn't want to eat. I had to force myself to eat. Um, but then around Saturday, Sunday, I thought it to feel like, oh, you know what? I could eat something. And so I've been mindful in my eating because my problem has never been not knowing what to do. I am a very knowledgeable, very well-equipped woman on what foods to eat in order to um, feed my fuel my body and lose weight and to eat in a calorie deficit. That has never been my problem. My number one problem has always been the ability to stick with it and not to fall into negative mindsets or to um, fight willpower, willpower, you know, that the lack of willpower and the lack of my ability to, on a long-term basis, to continue to eat in a calorie deficit has always been my downfall. Inability to stop when I'm full. I kind of talked about my weight loss surgery. I had a gastric bounding um, in 2010 and I would tell my surgeon, I would say, I have like two stomachs. I have my band tummy that's full, but my bottom tummy keeps telling me I need more. And so what I learned to do was to eat around my band and I would still feel hunger. Well, I would feel the restriction, but I would still have hunger. And so I learned ways to eat, to work around that band. I out ate that that surgery. What I'm finding with Wagovi is I'm having that restriction with my band. I still have it, but I don't have that hunger. So it's actually allowing me to use my weight loss surgery tool. Like I have not used it since before the first time I got it, when I first got it. Okay, let's go back to my old weight loss toolkit, a uh, weight loss surgery toolkit and use all of those tools that I learned and I can do it now because I don't have that food noise um, telling me that I need more, I need more, I need more. So that has been the most amazing thing so far, 10 days in on this GLP-1, is this ability to say, mm, I'm good, I don't want that. Second week, um, injection, I don't even feel the injection. <laughs> it's the easiest thing. I was dreading that very much. Um, I don't like needles, but having been through seven years of infertility, um, I've had my fair share of needles. So I was a little hesitant, but it's no problem. It's, I don't even feel it. And I noticed that this week, my appetite has returned. Week two of Wagobi, my appetite returned. And that has caused me a little bit of anxiety. Just because my appetite is back doesn't mean that I have to overeat. And the GLP-1 medicine is working because even though I have an appetite, I quickly am satiated even when I eat. So I'm still eating within my calorie deficit. I'm still eating control, controlled eating and still eating um, normal portions or what I would consider normal portions. Um, I'm not overeating. And so that's been very freeing. And just this uh, feeling satiated 
after eating without binging or without overeating has been remarkable. I, I don't know how to explain it other than it's witchcraft. It's like somebody fixed the miswiring in my body that always said more, more, more. So I am losing weight. I, the scale keeps going down. I'm not going to focus on those numbers on the scale. Maybe I'll give it like a once a month update, but I don't, for me, this journey is not so much about the scale because I've made that scale go down hundreds of times. I've lost hundreds of pounds over and over again. My journey is about healing my relationship with food and how I feel about food. And it's, it's just food and treating it like it's just food and not giving it so much power in my life. So everything's great. Week two, 10 days in. Um, and it's amazing. If you're on a GLP-1 journey, let me know how you're doing. Um, thank you everybody so much for the support. So many people have messaged me and commented, encouraging me. And I'm so thankful for everybody and for all you cheering me on. And I hope you're doing well as well. Until next time. Bye.